Okay, now if we go to our pages folder and open our checkout.php page. After I went object form, let's create a new object, obg valid. Object valid, okay, and we have new validation and we're passing our object form to this method. As you may remember, the constructor of this method required the object form to be passed to it. So if we open our validation.php, as you can see, if we scroll down to our constructor, you can see that we need to pass object form to this method, uh, which is later on assigned to this object form in, uh, parameter property of this specific class. Okay, so we've passed our object form. Now we are going to check if object form is posed and we're going to pass one of the field names, which is a first name. So whenever the form is submitted, the first name is going to be also submitted. So we're checking if this one has been submitted. Now we are going to pass uh, array to, uh, to our expected array inside of the object valid, our validation class. So uh, object valid expected equals array. And we are now telling our validation class what fields should it expect to receive. So we have first name and comma. We have last name. Then we have address one. One, then we have address two. Then we have town. After that is county. Then we have postcode, country, and last is email. Okay, now if we copy the entire thing and paste it right underneath, this time we will rename our expected underscore expected to underscore required. So required fields, which fields are required? I know the address to address to is not required, so we can remove it. Postcode, town, country, and email. All the other ones are required. So obviously the only thing we are removing is the address too. Okay, so everything stays, apart from this, everything stays as, as it was. Now we copy our object valid, and we need to uh, add some uh, one value to our special array. So array, and we want to make sure that email is validated as valid email. Okay, so that's all in terms of our arrays. After this, we use object valid and we check if all fields are valid. So our method, which we've created earlier, is valid. So if it's valid, we are going to update our details, basically. But this is not going to happen yet. First, we need to display all our validation messages. So uh, first we're going to have a look at our first name. So we've got our input. We, before our input for the first name, we type PHP echo object valid. And we use, we're calling our validate method. We pass in the name of the field to it, then semicolon and closing PHP, uh, PHP tag. Let's use our first name. Let's save the file and test it first to see if everything works fine. Well, we have some error here on line 35, unexpected opening curly brace. 35, if we scroll up, 35, if is valid. Okay, I can see what's what's happening here. Actually, I've done it by mistake here. We obviously have to type if object valid is valid, then we're going to do something. If we save the file now, refresh the page, everything's fine. If I click on next button, we should see validation and it works as you can see, as expected. So obviously if I type in something and click next, everything's fine. But if I remove this data, uh, this information from here, the validation pops in. Okay, so let's let's apply the same thing to all, all the other fields. So if we copy this line and now move to the last field, uh, sorry, last name, you see, we need to uh, change the parameter to the last name. Copy this line again. Now go to the address one. Change the 
parameter. Let's go to the address too. Let's apply this to the address too. Perhaps at some point you would like to make this field valid as well. So the only thing you will have to do is to add this, the name of this field to the required array. It's always good to have uh, options displayed everywhere and just manipulate which ones you want to valid, uh, basically make, re make required uh, using the array. So then we have town. Now if we scroll down, we have county name of the field to pass to this validate method as well sorry then we have after county we have postcode after our postcode is the country and lastly we have our email so now if we save the file go back to our page refresh reload the page after post as you can see all these fields are showing now uh, our validation messages um, if i select any of the fields from the drop down menu hit enter as you can see now the validation message is gone the same if i put any text in any of these fields these messages are also gone so it's all working absolutely fine as you can see our address address too doesn't display any validation message but if i go back to the file scroll up and simply add our address to, to our required array. Save the file, go back. Now if I hit enter, oh, we have undefined index. And this is this uh, actually telling us that basically we don't have validation message inside of the array uh, messages. So if we copy the name of the field, go back to our validation mess, uh, class, scroll up to the top. As you can see, we haven't got actually message here. So we can add it if at any time ever you're gonna require uh, this field to be validated you can type please provide the second line of your address now we see comma because it's an array we save this refresh the page now you can see the validation is displayed as a second line of the address obviously we don't need this second line to be validated so we just remove it from the required but you still have the flexibility that whenever you need it you simply just add it to the required and obviously it's going to it's not going to allow anyone to move any further unless they obviously failed in this specific field so let's uh let's move to the next video